Welcome Activision and all the developers of Call of Duty Ghosts. And it would include Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Raven, Neversoft. I hope you take this video and put this in front of all your developers, your shareholders. You probably want to know why Infinity Ward's Call of Duty Ghosts is down 2 million units from the last Call of Duty from Infinity Ward, which was Modern Warfare 3. And also Treyarch experienced the same thing, 2 million units plus down from their last uh, Call of Duty. So I want to give everybody that is connected to Activision an insight. Because we all know that Activision laid out a bunch of commercials before Call of Duty Ghost targeting, you know, wasn't targeting esports, Call of Duty esports didn't have any commercials on TV showing dramatic Call of Duty esports didn't show any e uh, commercial showing snipers twirling around doing 360s or whatever didn't have none of that but yet they pandered to the casual community but continuously support overwhelmingly esports and snipers that don't represent the people who are paying for your game. That is the first problem we have here with your game. With your, if you're in, if you're a shareholder or somebody that's within has power in Activision, this is the number one problem. You have continuous support of the game, meaning you know you have hot fixes, you have changing the game, you do everything, you bend over backwards for the uh, the part of the community that you're not even that you're not even advertising to then you wonder why there's two million units sold less from the last from the last version of your call of duty it's not console consolidation what Eric uh, Heisberg the CEO of Activision it has nothing to do with that it has to do with continuous innovation and support for the people that you're targeting in the first place let me give you a news flash. Not every casual person like myself has a YouTube, Twitter, Facebook that can reach out to you and give you the insight that you need to have people keep coming back to your game. Attention shareholders of Activision. The reason why you're spending 5 to 10 million dollars to have Eminem make new songs and be the headliner and and spending 100% more money to make 50% less money from your game is because you don't focus on innovation and continuous support of the people that are not here, meaning on the interweb. So that's the problem that you have with your franchise. You advertise to the casual community, but you do not support them. Time in and time over, People have asked for support of the casual community, and what happens? We get slapped in the face. So this is leading up to one of the reasons why I, personally, a casual player who's played every single Call of Duty, who supported you through my time on YouTube, who's bought every DLC, who has over a million kills on Call of Duty Plus, I'm giving you the insight as to why there's 2 million people who've left your franchise. It has nothing to do with console consolidation. If that were the case, then Black Ops 2 would have sold 9 million copies, and it didn't. There wasn't a new console then. So let me, let me clear it up for you, okay? I hope you're all listening, sitting in a room, and this will help you, because I still love Call of Duty. So I'm going to give you some advice as to how to bring those two million people back. First off, you make seven Call of Duties. Every, you make a Call of Duty every year, okay? When you make a Call of Duty, and there's problems in the last Call of Duty, they shouldn't be, the, the problems in the last Call of Duty shouldn't carry over to the next Call of Duty. There should be a collaboration between two studios and listening to the people that are making videos, showing you video factual evidence, putting it on your boards, constantly telling you what is wrong with your game, and we get no response, no hot fixes.
But what happens when a pro player or a sniper community or somebody who has a voice on the interweb cries about something? Then weapons get unnecessarily patched, uh, buffed up. The game, the game is an, it's not a happy experience when you're listening to a very small group of people who have a big following on the interweb. Your casual people that you're advertising to do not have that following. And that's what people I'm trying to represent to you. I'm trying to help you understand that without us, there is no Call of Duty. You are going down the same path as Halo. Halo completely supported uh, esports and pro gaming, killed off their main audience. Those people that you're 7 million, you're at a fragile point right now. If you drop between 5, five to 4 million, you can no longer support your advertising budget. To keep this game afloat and therefore this game is over and I don't want to see that happen this is a great military shooter so I think the first thing you need to do is start listening to the few people that are left that still care about who you're advertising to like myself to bring these people back and and, and here's here's the thing the number one problem is that you have one game you make every year you take away problems from one game, but then in the very next game, for example, let's say I'm just using this as a hypothetical example. You are a developer. You understand what I'm talking about. You'll have three times grenade, uh, a one-man army, uh, uh, a number of things in this game. Let's just say I'm just using that as an example. And then the very next game, you may take out some of those things, but the next game, you'll add in stuff like Dolphin Dive, um, some some other stuff that's that slows the game down and makes it unfun. It's like, okay, the people asked you to take out certain things in the game from this version. Well, I'll give you a perfect example. Modern Warfare 2 was a great game. All you had to do is lower down the explosives, take out the damage, take out reload on the uh, C4 and explosives, and then go to the next game, make it better engine, make it better um, graphics, and it was a perfect game. Well, what happens is the next studio gets a hold of it. They they don't listen. It's a completely different game, and it's the opposite of the other game. So you keep doing this every single game, and people just get tired of asking you to fix stuff that was in the last game. And then adding new bad stuff in the next game. That's number one problem. The n number two is the spawns. The spawns are ridiculous. Um, that should be taken. That should have been taken care of seven games ago. When you have a game that comes out every year, then the game should be perfect by now. And I want to see Call of Duty stay alive. But you cannot have a game stay alive if you're not listening to the people you are advertising to. So. Here's my suggestion. If you're going to keep your casual community around, you cannot slap them in the face and give nothing back when all these people pay their money. Another example is eSports Call of Duty Championships. You're giving a million dollars to a very small group of people that would never be able to support Call of Duty in the first place. How can you justify giving a million dollars to what maybe 10,000 people max there's maybe five or ten teams that are always there the same teams and then change the game based on what they say I mean here's a prime example changing the MSBS and making it weaker and, and Call of Duty goes yeah it might be too strong for 4v4 but because pro players asked it to be done now it's irrelevant in ground war domination or 9v9. The weapon is useless. So it's one less weapon that I paid for this game that I cannot use because a small minority group seemingly can just have anything changed in the game. You wonder why people are leaving? There's just there's there's tons and tons and tons of examples. You know, if you if it's it's a problem, you know, if you do not take care of the people who purchase your game giving a million dollars and not doing nothing for the whole community in whole 
and then slapping us again in the face with a 49.99 season pass. And all you're doing is giving us new maps and you're catering to a new weapon that is for snipers. Uh, an attachment that makes a weapon a sniper. I mean, I don't know what else to say to you, the developers and Activision and the shareholders. You throw out all these commercials, you show the guys sweeping and mopping the toothbrush, the dentists and everybody, all these casual players, but then you turn around and you, you backstab the people who are paying for your game. And making it completely, you bait and switch the casual pale, the the casual community, and you expect us to stay around. You wonder why you lost two million units because people know they're not stupid. They're not going to stay around when you lie to us and treat us like crap, and then try to just milk us like turnips, squeeze blood out of turnip forty nine ninety nine. Let me give you a little surprise. I played Alpha Titans Fall this weekend. And I came to the realization that on Xbox One, there's only 45,000 concurrent users at any given moment. Now, as a casual gamer, there's only 45,000 people in the playlist on Xbox One. Titanfalls comes out after playing it. This is a great game. I realize this now. In the beginning, I didn't like it, but now I do. But I came to the realization that I love Call of Duty and Titan Falls is a great game. But paying $49.99 for a season pass that comes out at basically February 1st, February, March. So now March comes around. You want me to spend $49.99 for three maps that are just basically the same maps that are there now. A sniper rifle. That has nothing to do with the casual community uh, add-on as a sniper assault rifle. And you you think I'm gonna stick a you think I'm gonna waste $49.99 for 30 days when I could just save my money, buy Titans Fall, a completely new experience first person shooter. Do you think I'm gonna stay around for that? Let me give you a hint as a casual community person that has a voice as a call of duty developer you need to evolve your game when dlc comes around your game no longer can support three months of activity okay so what's going to happen 50 000, concurrent users come aboard you expect me to pay 49.99 on the xbox one then when march comes around not only is people going to leave to go play Titans Fall from the Xbox One, but the majority of people are not going to buy the DLC or the season pass on Xbox One. So what's going to happen? That pool of players is going to shrink down to 5,000 people or less. Who am I going to play with? How could you justify $49.99? At best, my threshold for a season pass is $19.99. If that. The, the point that you're giving a million dollars to a, a, a part of the community that represents nobody, and yet you want to charge the casual gamer $49.99 for a funneled down experience with players who are not even going to buy the DLC because it's too much in the first place, but are going to be gone when Titan Falls comes out. So why would I even do that? Do you understand the point? Do you understand what's going on here? I'm trying to help you with your with your game. If you want to do something about it, that's fine. If you want to continue to go down this road, I don't know what you're chasing. Esports is not going to save Call of Duty. It's this game is going to die before esports saves it. You're spending more money on advertising to make 50% less than what you made on Black Ops 2. And it has nothing to do with console consolidation because it was 2 million units down further on Black Ops 2, which I've already reiterated twice. So that's not the problem. The problem is, is that your developers do not care enough about their game to listen to the people that you are targeting. That's the casual community. And until you do that, you're going to see millions and millions until you cannot afford to make Call of Duty no more. And if I was a shareholder, I would bail on Activision.
Because as it stands right now, when Titans Falls comes out, after playing that game, I realize that nobody's going to be sticking around for that, especially on the new Xbox One. This is going to be a ghost town on Call of Duty Ghost. That's the, I mean, pardon the pun, but that's what's really going to happen on your game. The fact that you don't listen to the casual community, the fact that you don't fix the game from one generation to the next, the fact that you don't have the innovation. When you have a, when you talk about season pass, if you, if you use and listen to the casual community, this game should completely change in season pass. You should change all the stats on the, on the weapons. Make every make all the weapons, you know, change the stats. So that way people are renewed with learning the weapons all over again. Bring in a bigger weapons pack, a huge weapons pack, four or five weapons that are comparable to the weapons that are already there. You want people to buy your stuff? You want to charge me $49.99? Well, give me a reason to buy this, buy the map pack or buy the season pass. I'm not going to buy a season pass for a sniper rifle. I hate snipers. The casual community can't stand them. And then the maps with the little trolleys and the little ships shooting rockets, nobody cares about that. It's not exciting. You have to change everything. You have to be maverick. You're not doing that. You're the same old, same old. The only thing you're changing is for some for a community that it's not going to save your game. So I hope you listen to this video and you're sitting in your studio and listening. And you're more than welcome to tweet me. I'll fly out to whatever studio, talk to ahead of anybody, and I'll help you save your game, Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty in general. You need somebody. You're advertising to us. We're the people who buy your game. There's not 7 million pro players that buy your game. There's not 7 million snipers that are buying your game. If that were the case, then Call of Duty would make a game called Call of Duty Pro Sniping. And let's see how many copies you would sell. I don't think you can support the studio or the advertising budget to get it off the ground. It's not innovative enough. I mean, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do a season pass, you have to change the game completely. You have to give a reason why I'm spending another fifty dollars, and why everybody else shouldn't have spent fifty dollars. They're not gonna do it. I'm not buying this map. I'm not buying the season pass for thirty days to play three maps and one weapon when I could just save my money and buy Titans Fall and have a completely new experience and not be mad. That the, that the community manager and developers have a deaf ear to the patrons who support their paychecks. I can't do it. And their shareholders. I'm done. When you lose this core of casual people, that's the end of your series. That's it. Anyways, I hope you can, you know, you can contact me or you could do something about it. One way or the other, but as it stands right now, I'm not gonna buy your. I'm not buying your season pass, and um, I'm spending my forty nine ninety nine on Titans Fall. That's where my money is going. I just want to let you know that, and I'm not happy with the service and the attention that the casual community and the slaps in the face that we keep getting. Like we don't have a voice anymore. We buy the game. And then you want to give a million dollars to a, a small group of people. When you could have a social event for everyone who's been supporting you all these years. And then getting their feedback in real time. There. But you don't care. So if you don't care, why should I care? Anyways, I'm out.